What's up model car mechanics? Have you ever been to a hobby shop and you saw a model car, but you really wanted to know what was inside the box before you bought it? Today I'm going to open up and show you what's inside the Ravel Monogram 1979 Nissan Off-Road Pickup. And if you stick to the end of this video, I will show you a great model car tip that will make your models look magnificent. So let's go down to the bench and see what's in the box. Once again we get on the rugged trail and go all the way out into the wilderness in our Ravel Monogram 1976 Nissan off-road pickup. This is a 124 scale model kit for skill level 2. On the side of the box we have all the features that make this off-road pickup truck really amazing. We also have a paint call-out sheet and a rear three-quarter image of the actual built model. On this side of the box we get a definition of what skill level 2 means. This is a moderate model kit intended for ages 10 and up that requires glue and paint. Here we have a picture of the engine bay with the hood open and the back end of our pickup. Now we can take the lid off our box and see what we've got inside. Here's our decal sheet which is upside down which is good because then we can see what it looks like at the end of the video. There's our instructions in the box. All our components are in this nice plastic bag right here. Then we've got our chrome below, our glass, and our tires. And these are pretty nice big tires. Although our instruction sheet looks quite small, it actually unfolds into a larger sheet. This is our Datsun pickup. And here we have the write-up, which I will put in the description box down below. There's the read this before you begin in many different languages. There's some of the symbols we will see as well as a paint call-out chart. To begin the model, we have panel one, which shows our engine being glued together. This is a four-cylinder Nissan motor. So you get the motor and transmission as a combination, which glue together left and right hand side. And we get our fan belt and pulleys molded as one piece and an alternator which glues onto there. The engine is cool because it also features the starter motor and the oil filter. Panel 2 shows the valve cover going on top of our cylinder head, the intake manifold and the exhaust manifold. And in panel 3 the entire engine drops onto the chassis. Panel 4 we have the rear axle, the leaf springs and the drive shaft all hooking into the motor and dropping on the back of the chassis. Up front, this is a four-wheel drive vehicle, so we also have a front steering differential and another drive shaft which hook into the transfer case on the motor and drop into place on the chassis. Panel 6 completes our front suspension with this nice component that goes over top of our front differential. And then in panel 7, you make four tires and wheel combinations by using the outer wheel, the tire, and the inner wheel. Now the inner wheel, of course, locks into place on the axles, so make sure you remove all the seam lines off the axles so that these wheels will rotate freely. Panel 8 shows the wheels clicking in place on our front and rear axles. And then in panel 9, we do have the back of the cab, which needs to be glued into place. Panel 10 shows our window glass, front windshield, and the back glass. And you need to paint this little area flat black, just as it would be on the real truck. Then we have a nice interior cab bucket with bucket seats that drop into place, a gear stick lever, and a front lever for putting it into four-wheel drive. In panel 12, we see our three-piece dashboard, steering column, and steering wheel all going together and dropping in place into the tub. And then in panel 13, we see how the tub will hook into the bottom of the cab. Panel 14 shows our cab being hooked onto our chassis, while panel 15 completes that by adding in the decal for the license plate and putting on our rear bumper. We also need to paint our turn signals in the back, so there's how to do it. Panel 16 shows this really cool roll bar, and here we have our light backs being glued into place to the lights on the front. We also have this other rear bar that goes in the back, so that it looks like this. Panel 17 shows our front grille, as well as the four headlights that pop into place. And this entire assembly goes onto the front of our cab. Panel 18 shows our amazing off-road bumper being glued into place. You also have to paint the satin black bumperettes on the corner, 
but overall this should look really cool once it's all finished. Panel 19 shows the air cleaner going on top of the carburetor and a whole lot of different paint callouts for underneath the hood. Panel 20 shows how to install the front protector onto these two little pins that are mounted on the chassis. Panel 21 shows the installation of the hood, while panel 22 shows the installation of the outside mirrors. Our final panel shows you how to apply the decals for our 1979 Nissan off-road pickup. Here we have our Datsun pickup body. This is really amazing. You get all the proper ties in the right places. The little gas filler door. The back is molded onto the body, so this will just drop in as one complete part. There are some high mold marks underneath, which is a bit of a shame. Overall, this is really excellent. You get the nice molding, the door handles, the panel lines look like they're scribed properly. You get the little Datsun emblem on the side. Now, in case you're wondering, Datsun and Nissan are actually the same company, so I might use them interchangeably throughout this video. Look under the hood. All that nice detailing. This is basically like a monogram kit. May have even been a monogram original mold back in the day. I'd have to look that up. Look underneath there. You get all the little divots and holes, just like the real grill on the real truck. Again, very amazing. And on the back, you get the big Datsun letters stamped in on that tailgate. And the license plate's actually just hanging down in space. But again, it all looks very nice and I would say I'd give this top marks. Our next parts tree includes a lot of different components. Here we have our interior tub bucket. Let's just turn it over and look. The side paneling is not too bad, a little bit soft, but it's always the trouble with these tub arrangements. The pedals just drop straight down, which isn't quite accurate. There should actually be an angle in the front. Still, you know, it is a very nice model. There's the bucket seats. Look at the nice upholstery pattern in there. A nice uh, gloss tan color would look really neat, like a leatherette. There's our front axle and our rear axle, the steering column, wheel backs, the exhaust manifold. There's our roll cage. Again, very beautifully done and very simplistic. So this kit you could build over a nice weekend. This is our second parts tree, which finishes off the white components. Again, the detail in here is so crisp and so accurate, it's amazing. There's the ribs on the back of the back of the cab, our dashboard, our two-piece engine block, the hood even has little vents in it. There's that front little plate that goes on here. This is a transfer case I was talking about, which I didn't find in the instructions, but it's actually on the chassis. And then we've got some more wheel backs. So let's take a look at this. You get a full perimeter frame. Well, not really a perimeter frame, because that would go to the edges, but you still get a nice frame in here. The exhaust is molded in place, so you're going to have to use some painting tricks up around here. But out here, it's quite open. Just make sure you steer your brush in a good way around the back. There's retainers for the rear springs. Again, look at the dashboard. Dashboard is really nice on here. Looks like the real Datsun pickups from back in the day. Turning it over, there are some mold marks you'll have to take care of. Again, look at the back. This gets covered over by the seats. Overall, I would say this is quite excellent. Looks like it's almost a snap together in a lot of ways. So good for the beginning builder and good for the experienced modeler. Here we have the chrome parts tree, and again by the end of the 70s chrome was starting to fall out of favor, but we do have the nice chrome grille and the front chrome bumper, as well as the engine cover, the valve cover, and our wheels, and the air cleaner, and all the other auxiliary parts. Again, the molding on here is quite crisp. The chrome is accurate. You'll need a little bit of a black wash in there. Overall, though, this is a really excellent chrome parts tree. Here's our glass for our 1979 Datsun pickup. Unfortunately, it was not in a plastic bag, so it did get scratched in the corner here on the chrome part tree. We have the window in the back and our windshield, of course. And these are our four little rectangular headlights. Next, we have a wonderful pair of Goodyear Tracker RT tires. These are the same ones that are in the Jeep kit from Monogram, Ravel Monogram. And again, we've got the excellent tread under there. 
These are some of my favorite off-road tires, by the way. They have the Goodyear on the front and they're smooth on the back in case you want to turn them into Firestone tires or something like that. Here we have the decal sheet for our pickup truck. Again, we've got the nice colors in here. The black, the neon blue, the neon orange, and our neon pink. And we also have a license plate that says California Muddy. Now if you've built this model kit in the past, let us know in the comment section down below how you enjoyed building it. It looks like a simple fun kit, so it shouldn't have been too hard to do. However, who knows, there could be some issues with it. So let us know in the comments section down below. And if you really like, you can also share your pictures over on our Facebook page. I hope you found this video very helpful for your next model car purchase. Now, as promised, this video right here will show you a really cool technique that you can apply to your model cars. And if you want to see what model cars that you can buy from me today, check out this link right down here. Well, I really hope you enjoyed that video and we'll see you on the next one.